Thank you, guys. It's good to see you all here. You could have been anywhere in, anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us, so thank you. Today we're going to talk about how to sustain your growth in the MENA. Uh, basically, that moves us to what is organic growth? Organic growth is actually usually identified by the number of users you gain without paying any money. But I'd like to add something to this definition. Basically, organic growth is uh, an indicator of how successful is your game. So let's say you, done, you uploaded a game on the store and uh, it gained 100 installs per month uh, versus another game that gained 3,000 installs per month. That means that the second game is performing better than the first game and deserves more attention. So that moves us from the question how to gain users to how to sustain those users on the market. And this actually goes, it takes us to so many points. I will illustrate one by one. First of all, it's App Store optimization. App Store optimization is a science where how to use the right keywords, the right screenshots, the right video for your game. So let's say, for instance, we're starting from icon to screenshots to description to the tags. And I'm going to give you a little tip of how to uh, use App Store optimization on the store. Uh, there's this uh, product by Google, it's called Keyword Planner, basically usually uh, used for uh, marketing campaigns, paid marketing campaigns, but you can use it for free to actually understand what are the main keywords that users are looking for, and this helps you a lot. App Store optimization also starts from naming the, the icon, let's say the screenshots, on your device and uploading it. So it makes a difference when your icon says icon.png versus the name of the game does png. Another tip, when you're using your tags, don't overuse them. So basically you can use some tags in the description, make sure that it doesn't exceed 10% of the description. Uh, when you're using the same tag, don't use it a lot, for example, in the title and in the tags. You're, you're wasting the number of characters you're allowed to use. The next point is installing analytics. Analytics are very important in uh, your organic growth. Why? It gives you an indicator of where our users are coming from, what are they doing inside the game, and how you're able to sustain that good behavior or deduct that bad behavior from your game. So basically, the most important part about analytics is to understand where your users are coming from, what they want from your game, and how to enhance these behaviors. The second one is getting your app reviewed by the users. I cannot stress enough how important is the rate for your game. Let's say that you basically want to download a game. Uh, oh yeah. Let's say basically you're about to download a game and you found the rate is 2.4 versus a game is 4.3. Of course, I'm going to go for the 4.3. Okay. How do I do that? I'm going to give you a little tip about how do you do that. For example, the message that asks your players to rate you. You need to add a sentimental touch on that message. Instead of saying, uh, please rate our game, you can say, hey, we care about your feedback. Would you please rate our game? Another tip, when you're asking your users to, uh, to rate your game, you can uh, choose three options. Yes, no, or cancel, or maybe later. But I'm going to give you a fourth option. Angry users are based, usually tend to give feedback. So I can add, send us an email or send a feedback email. So angry users will go to the email and send you the bad feedback, and they wouldn't go to the store to give you one star. This helps you to gain more users to uh, give you good stars, and you will absorb the anger of other users. Another one is utilizing push notification. Utilizing push notification is a very dangerous move. Don't overdo it, because users are very smart these days. For example, if you give your user a, a push notification every day, please uh, play our game, we miss you, why don't you play the game, there's another update for this game, the user will be very annoyed by this. I'm going to give you a little tip about uh, utilizing push notification. You can also add a sentimental touch by saying, hey, you're missing your weekly streak or by, by saying uh, the leaderboard uh, rate is dropping, so why don't you uh, play the game again? The next point is uh, creating a landing page. 
The Play Store or the App Store are not enough to showcase your game for the users. You need to add a landing page in order to enhance the ASO and SEO for your game in order to add more keywords because uh, Google algorithm uh, for ranking works in a mysterious way. But we can actually uh, get an indicator of how they work by using the keywords that will help our game to be on the first uh, results when somebody is looking for a racing game, for example, or for something like that. Shooting a video for your game is also going to enhance uh, the reach for organic user. Let me give you an example. If your game uh, has some features that you cannot actually illustrate inside the Google Play Store or the App Store, you will be able to use YouTube for that. Uh, one more tip is that your video has to be realistic. If I see that video and I see something and I download the game because I saw something in the video that I like and then I don't find it in the game, like a lot of strategy games, you see that war and you see that effects and you see everything, but when you go inside the game, you don't see that. Another point is social media customer care. Social media customer care is very important. You have to show your users that you are reaching for them, that you care about them, that you are following them on all media streams. Because some users use Instagram more than Facebook, some users don't use Facebook, they use Twitter. So you have to understand that. And that brings us back to the analytics. You need to implement analytics in order to know where your users are coming from. Daily free gifts and prizes. Who doesn't like free stuff? I will always come back for the game because I have a prize, I have a promo code, I have something to gain back. And doesn't only rely on daily prizes. Maybe you can create a competition that if the users play your game for five days in a streak, he can gain something for free. Interact with your users, and that's different from reaching them through social media. Interacting with your user means that you need to show the users that you actually listen. For example, when you update a game, you need to tell your users that you did that update because they are asking for it, instead of showing them that it's your brilliant idea. And finally, blogging. Blogging is very important. First of all, it's because of Google alg algorithms and how they work on the search. And the second of all, it illustrates more about the features of your game. You need to show the user what our features are, aren't, uh, aren't uh, mentioned in the description or in the Play Store. Blogging is very important and some users like to read more about the game. So it's very important to implement that inside your game and inside some links and some uh, also, you can use uh, tags and keywords, more keywords for you. That's all. I'm ready for your questions.